Hey everyone, so in this episode we're going to be implementing the cart. If you haven't seen the last episode and you're just joining it in, last episode I explained how sessions work, so if you don't know that you might want to go check it out. But yeah, let's proceed. So let's go to our UI pages, let's go into our products.cshtml. And uh, what we're going to be looking at is this cart here. So, uh, not cart, uh, the way we, we want to abstract this, uh, setting the value in the session here. And uh, we want to be setting not just a string, but rather an object. I'm going to show you how to do that. So, first of all, let's go into our domain models and let's create a cart.cs, right? So, this is going to be our cart. This is the information that's going to be stored in our session. Same way other models are stored in the database this one is going to be stored in the session right so here we ideally want two props the stock id right so we don't need product id we just want the stock id and the reason for that is because the stock corresponds to a specific product and we can get the product that way without storing too much product information in the session so and we want the quantity or the product that we're storing in the session, right? So we'll start off by, with these two, and let's actually call it card product. 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 Okay. Since we're gonna have multiple, might have multiples of these, right? I'm gonna close that off. Let's go into our application layer. Let's go in. Let's go and create a new folder called, called card. And in that cart, we want to create a service that will add a product to cart. So add to cart.cs. Uh, let's make a constructor. And if we go into our product.cs HTML, you can see that the session is of type I session. So let's go ahead and add that session. Let's make it available globally. In the service. Okay. And let's create a public void do. Okay. And here, what we want to pass is since we're going to be adding a specific stock ID and a quantity, that's all we really need. So public and type public class request and let's give it same props stock ID and quantity All right and this will accept the request cool so what we want to do is we want to take the session and we want to set string key is go going to be card and we want to pass a request right at this point the request is an object so we want to convert it to a string so let's call it let's create a new variable string object and we're going to use json convert right json convert and we're going to serialize the object that way request Okay, cool. So at the moment, we're only going to be adding the stock uh, to go simple, but I'm going to put a to do here as for in the, in the part two of, of the cart, we're going to look into appending the cart. All right, so we want to retrieve the cart. We want to do some logic on it to see if we need to sort of like, uh, if there's already an existing card, add a product to it instead of always overriding it with a single product. Okay, so we got that. Uh, let's call it here then. Let's uh, bring up add to cart. All right. Let's make a new. Let's pass in HTTP context session. Bring in do. 
and let's remove the test here. Let's create a add to cart request. And let's call it a cart view model. Okay. Let's remove the space here real quick. And let's pass in the cart view model to our service. Okay, so that's pretty much done. Let's safeguard ourselves here and create the cart product. So new cart product from our domain models. And let's just set the stock ID and quantity to request of quantity. Okay. So the reason we want to do this is I'm going to uh, is uh, you you will see it in a moment. So now let's do get cart. All right. And in our get cart, let's create a constructor and uh, actually let's copy everything from here real quick. Set the constructor name, uh, import the session, uh, import do all the imports real quick and another thing we want to add is an application DB context okay so once we retrieve our card we want to get the products and all the relevant information so let's instead return a response And we don't need the request since we're just going to get all, the whole card. Okay, and at the bottom here, return new response. Okay, so here where we set the string, let's move it up top. And instead, let's set get string. And let's take our string object. And let's set it to our string object, right? So now essentially we have our string object from the session and we want to convert it back to a cart product, right? So let's remove the cart product here. Let's put this on one line. And instead of serialize object, we want to use deserialize object, right? And what we're going to deserializing it to a we're going to be deserializing it to a what's it called um, cart product there we go and the object that we want to be deserializing is our string object there we go so this is basically just going to map our object here to this type so if you hover over cart product you can see that it's of type cart product and now the response we want to have we still want to have the quantity and the stock quantity will be purely for visual display and another two things we want to have is string name and string value okay so product name and product value let's create a response For this, we'll need our context, and we're going to grab it from our stock, where, don't forget to include link, where ID equals our product stock ID, right? So at this point, we have our stock object. Let's make sure we include import NT framework core as well the product for this okay so we want to know the product information <clears throat> and now we want to select a new response okay so our response will be consisting of um, the name 
so we'll be able to jump into our product and get the product name let's copy this a few times actually I need to copy it a few times just one more let's get the not the description rather the value And let's go into our product and get product. And let's just get this function right here that we're using to convert it to a good uh, presentable value. Just need to take this product, put it here. Cool. <clears throat> Okay, and now stock ID. Just get the ID here and the quantity. Want to get it from our cart product 180. And let's select first or default. Okay, and we return this response. Uh, let's just clean this up a little bit. And again, we will still need to do some work on this. And the work that we will need to do is account for multiple I items in the cart. Okay, looks good. Let's quickly make a page actually not this way rather because we need a razor page control shift a razor page and let's call it cart and our cart in the code behind let's get our get cart let's import that and uh, let's make a prop get cart response and we'll call it cart and on get we want to let's return i action result return page and we want to set our cart to let's make a constructor we will need our application db context So make it available globally and now let's new get cart what we need to pass is our session and we will need to pass our context and then we can call do okay and now we get our cart cool so here let's just quickly display some information from the cart so uh, let's make a paragraph at model.cart.name uh, let's do value quantity and we'll skip for the stock ID. actually just for development stock ID okay so when we add the product let's redirect to page cart Let's run this, see what happens. Oop, errors in the build. All right, so it's in our page, product CS HTML page. All right, so um, we don't have the product test model. Instead, we have our cart view model. So replace that with that. And let's bind it to stock ID. And for now, let's just make a quick input. ASP for cart view model quantity. Okay. Let's just make a label as well. Quantity. All right. Let's run this. Copy the the address and let's go into Internet Explorer. Let's paste this here. 
let's add a small quantity of one. Submit, see what happens. All right, so here we are at the card. Let's copy this, close it. And let's go into our card again. Voila, it's still there. So at this point, you see that our uh, session is retained uh, through closing the browser. And the card is still present. Obvious. Uh, one thing, though, when you stop the server, uh, your session is lost. So for that, you will need to store your session in a database, but that's a topic for another day. Uh, this will be it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, like, subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. In the next episode, we are going to be taking our cart to the next level to accept multiple items. And uh, in the future episodes, we're going to have a cart component. So we're going to be using .NET Core components. But that's all in the future. So stay tuned if you want to learn some more cool .NET Core stuff. Yep, see you in the next episode.